license plate readers were a hot topic just a few months ago when the General Assembly passed a bill limiting their use and the data they collect. But Governor McAuliffe vetoed that bill, saying it would jeopardize public safety. Tonight, state police credit that technology in tracking down the suspect. Because of the cooperation between all the law enforcement agencies involved and because of the use of the latest technology that this came to a resolution when it did. License plate readers, or LPRs, picked up Vester Flanagan's car after he shot and killed two TV journalists earlier today. State Trooper Pam Neff first spotted the suspect's car on I-66 with a device. It has two different types of cameras on it. It's got a black and white one, which is a nighttime camera, and it's also got a colored picture, and it takes a picture of every single license plate that comes through, and it reads it versus the national database. Had it not been for the LPR, the license plate reader, it's quite possible that that person would not be apprehended today. John Jones with the Virginia Sheriff's Association says LPRs play a huge role for law enforcement in catching criminals. There was a lot of misunderstanding about the use of license plate readers. A lot of folks felt like license plate readers violated their constitutional rights by by tracking where they go and that sort of thing, and that's not the case. And as we can see today, they have a, quite a legitimate use. LPRs are mounted on police cars or roadside structures such as bridges. Jones says they simply take pictures of license plates and alert officials if it reads a license plate put into the system. They just only track numbers, individual license plate numbers. We don't really have to know what the number is connected to. We just need to know where the number is. And Jones says he expects more bills will be introduced to next General Assembly session regarding the use of license plate readers. He also tells me more and more law enforcement agencies in the state are starting to use them. I'm Claudia Rupsich, 8 News.